English Unleashed. Mastering Phrasal Verbs for Socializing and Leisure. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to delve into an exciting part of English language learning, phrasal verbs. Specifically, we'll be focusing on phrasal verbs used in socializing and leisure activities. These are verbs you will likely use or hear when hanging out with friends, attending parties, or just relaxing during your free time. Let's get started. A phrasal verb is a verb that is combined with an adverb or a preposition, or sometimes both. The combination creates a meaning that is often different from the original verb. Understanding phrasal verbs is crucial as they are frequently used in daily conversation, especially in informal settings. When you meet people, especially friends, you use certain phrasal verbs more often than not. Some of these are, catch up. This means to talk to someone you have not seen for some time and find out what they have been doing. For example, let's catch up over coffee tomorrow. Drop by. This means to visit someone unexpectedly or without planning. For example, feel free to drop by anytime. Meet up. This means to arrange to see someone. For example, we should meet up for a movie this weekend. When spending time with friends or engaging in hobbies, you'll often hear these phrasal verbs. Hang out. This means to spend time relaxing, often with friends. For example, I hang out with my friends at the park. Chill out. This means to relax completely, or not allow things to upset you. For example, this weekend, I just want to chill out at home. Kick back. This is another phrasal verb that means to relax. For example, on my days off, I love to kick back and read a good book. Lastly, when it's time to say goodbye or end a social event, you might use these phrasal verbs. See off. This means to say goodbye to someone who is going on a journey at the place, such as the airport, where the journey begins. For example, I went to the train station to see off my friend. Head out. This means to leave a place. For example, it's getting late. I need to head out. Wrap up. This can mean to finish something such as a meeting, speech, or piece of work. For example, let's wrap up the party. It's getting late. There you have it, folks. These are just a handful of the many phrasal verbs that you might use or hear during socializing and leisure activities. Remember, the best way to master these is through practice. Try to use these in your conversations and see how naturally they start coming to you. Until next time, keep learning, keep practicing, and remember, English learning is a journey, not a race. Happy learning!